everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with layout number 18 using the July Hip Kit. I'm down to some serious scraps here, but um, if you remember the last layout, I believe it was, I had used that crepe paper pull side with the nice chevron in different colors. And I stamped on it, embossed it, and then it looked like a giant mess. <laughs> and I had cut it apart and used it on another layout. Well, this is sort of um, the leftover of that pattern paper or maybe it's the second sheet um, and I'm going to use it on this layout I think the leftover is probably what I'm mounting the photo with instead but I had these two strips of pattern paper that were in that size one is about four and a half by twelve and the other one is about a, one and a half by twelve and I'm going to use it in the size that it's in and I want to use uh, two photos on this layout but I um, use my pick frame app and then I printed it on my Canon selfie and I like doing that because then I can vary the sizes of my photos. I love using my Canon selfie. If you go on my product review uh, playlist, I have three videos I think using your Canon selfie with your iPhone and I love using it all the time. The only time that I print uh, a ton of pictures at the developer like near where I live is when we come back from vacation and I know I'm going to scrapbook a whole lot of pictures because then I can get 200 pictures printed for 20 bucks and 200 pictures done with my Canon selfie would be a hundred dollars so it's obviously more cost effective to get it done at a printing place but if you're just going to print one photo here or there especially for your project life your a Canon selfie is really nice to have. <clears throat> so I'm going to ink the edges using the Avery L Raspberry that we got in a kit a few months ago. And I'm going to end up inking all the edges. And then I wanted to put some kind of strip of pattern paper to sort of divide where those pattern papers end on that white paper. And the reason being is that crate paper pull side is sort of off white so going from that pa pattern paper to white there's too much there's not enough of a change and you can't really tell that there's an end there so by adding some pattern paper there you kind of see where the pattern paper ends at first I think I'm going to use the uh, fancy pants pink florals and I do end up using it on the bottom of the pattern paper but I change it up at the um, top of the layout and I just basically flip it over and the back side has just some deep pink so I'm going to use that and I like it better I find it takes away less from the photo on the video here it actually looks nice but that day that's how I felt and that's why I changed it I left a little white border around the photo and so that's sort of going to be my first um, matting and then I'm just going to use a whole bunch of scraps this is layout 18 I have two more layouts to share and then I'm going to jump into the August kit and I don't think I'm going to be doing as many layouts with the August or the September kit I'll just have to sort of live with it and move on and then maybe try to bring them in in further kits because I've already ordered the October kit. What sort of put me behind is working on my class that I plan on releasing in a few weeks and so it sort of put me behind. Uh, I've been doing a lot of voiceover and by the way I want to apologize for my voice. It's all crackly and raw and I've been doing so many voiceovers and it doesn't help that for this video I had to do it three times. The first time my battery died and it didn't save one minute. <laughs> the second time I forgot to put to use my mic to record so then I was sounding very far away so it was no good. So <laughs> this I guess third time's a charm right so um uh, <clears throat> but anyway um so I'm I think the goals that I'm going to set for the August and the September kits is going to be maybe four to six layouts and also where I'm revamping my whole YouTube channel 
I'm not going to be able to upload more than four to six hip kit videos a month anyway because I want to make different stuff. <clears throat> so I took out uh, the ink from my stash. I believe it was from Simon Says Stamp and it's like a dark gray and I inked the edges of the October afternoon pattern paper. The one with the words and then the other one is with the polka dots. Literally scraps. Um, I don't throw out anything until I am completely done with the kit because even little pieces of pattern papers like the one the October afternoon one with the words that's just a, maybe a one inch strip by three and three and a half almost four and I'm going to use it on this layout and I really like how you know it looks and um, so I'm going to ink the edges of all the pattern papers but with two different inks with the Avery L and also with the the gray ink another thing that I had noticed I guess the ink was from my favorite things I see it there on the corner another thing that I noticed when I <clears throat> started this layout was I had not used any of the Chamel cork stickers at all and so I I made it a point <laughs> to use them on this layout and I think when I looked at the house on the cork stickers it made me think of my second daughter moved away this month today's September 25th and she actually started her new job 10 days ago September 15th and and we moved her <clears throat> excuse me a week before September 7th and this was September 6th she her job had rented her a U-Haul truck and where they rented it in her name she was the only one that was allowed to drive it so she was like oh this is going to be different <laughs> but the kid doesn't let any challenge get the better best of her she just said okay I'm just going to do it and she drove the thing she moved two hours away and she drove that truck two hours away and that came was with some challenges there too so anyway i'll do another layout and talk about that when we get you know on another layout but this i want to talk about her moving and her getting a promotion because it, it is a big deal she's 21 years old and um the district manager we live in new brunswick and the district manager is in ontario and he came to new brunswick to meet her and uh, to I don't know if you can say interview her he asked her two questions <laughs> and but he chatted with her and she's been working for that company for a couple of years so her work ethics I guess were were known so just wanted to meet her and met her one day offered her the job the next day in writing the Friday she drove to the new city looked for an apartment she had three lined up picked one of them and then a week later we moved her because the week that she was actually moving moving I was working and there was no way I could go and help and I really wanted to go so I came up with this whole elaborate plan of you know renting the truck on September 6th which September 7th is Labor Day here in New Brunswick and I said you know I'm off and your dad's off and you're off and Pat's off so we can pack the truck on the 6th and then just move you on the 7th and then I can help you you know clean the apartment and wash everything and move you in and it worked out like a charm she went and picked up the truck at five o'clock on Sunday night, just before they close about 4.30, I guess, 4, 4.30, and then packed up the truck Friday night, or Sunday night, sorry, S Monday morning. We got up, we had Mason, we brought him back to his mom, and then we met her, of course, at Tim Hortons, because we got to get some Tims before we leave, and then um, drove to Fredericton, unpack the entire thing not just in the house but literally wash the apartment washed because she had all new stuff 
knew all new dishes because when she worked at Target, what she did was when they were closing up and they had these amazing sales, she got, oh my goodness, these beautiful dishes for like $15. They were like $150 a set, I think. And she, or, you know, over $100 and she got them for $15. They're so beautiful. And um, she got everything new towels everything so we washed everything got her all moved in and we were done by supper time my husband went and got to Kentucky we all sat in her apartment we ate and then we came back um, to Moncton and the big truck she they they had it set up that she could just leave it in that city so we dropped the truck off they hopped in with us and home we came so it was just perfection and then the week after she only had a few things left and her dad and Josh went with her that Sunday also and you know she had her water cooler thing and you know just a few things for TV and <clears throat> a few things like that and they went up with her and helped her that day but she was when she went back she was done like we unpacked her clothes and everything so it was it was awesome but anyway I, and I wanted to be able to do that for her. So um, just back to the layout. Um, I used the little alphas that came in one of the add-ons. They're from October afternoon in the gray. And I love those. And you know what? I force myself to use them more than the mason jar color one. Because those are more the colors that I would tend to go for. And uh, I wanted to make sure I use these. And I, when you see the Killikit video, I almost use them. You know, I use them a lot. Now, again, um, the reason I thought of doing this, one, she had just moved. Today's September 25th, and she moved. Um, we moved her. This was September 6th, and I did it about a week after. So this was fresh in my mind, but that little house, um, the cork stickers, I wanted to use it so this was perfect and it's huge <laughs> so I didn't know where I want to use it so I tried at the top of the layout and I'm like this embellishment is way too big to be at the top of the layout so I'm going to mount it at the bottom right of the layout and to make it look like it sort of belongs I'm going to put a piece of that gray pattern paper in behind there I want to I only have a little bit left so I'm going to cut a sliver off of it and I'm going to put it at the top right or top left of the layout and then I'm going to put the house to the bottom right and you can tell I'm playing with it the reason I didn't like to the left instead of the right for the house is I found the house was too close to that cork sticker the ampersand and it, I didn't find it was balanced enough so that was the reason I chose the right and then I'm going to put some puffy stickers and there was a little flower left so hello flowers next to the house although I'm not a gardener I think it's beautiful I just want them to magically be there though I don't want to have to work for it I just want them to be there so if I could win a ton of money I'd probably hire a gardener because I love them they're beautiful I just don't like bugs so I don't like to be out there and be with the bugs but anyway I added some flowers I use another another puffy sticker that said happiness because I mean she's happy with you know the promotion it's amazing she's 25 and she's or she's 25 she's 21 and she's the boss and um, I was just talking to her before I uh, did this voiceover and it's going so well already she's knocking their socks off on how she's doing so that's awesome I know she's going to do well. She's a go-getter. And you know, if you've been watching me for a while, I don't usually journal while I'm doing the, you know, the page. But this was, I guess, not some really deep journaling. It's more, you know, I said that I'm proud of her at 21. She was promoted to manager and that you know they paid for her to move and it happened really fast like within two weeks she had to find an apartment and be there and start working and that she's going to be awesome at anything that she wants to do in life and what i'm going to do is um i'm going to do a few layouts of this and on another layout i probably won't do the journaling 
while I'm filming because then I'm going to go more into the emotions of how I'm feeling that, you know, a month ago, she was supposed to move next door to where we're supposed to build and she was going to be my neighbor. They were going to, they were going to fix up that house and um, move there and, you know, make it the way that they liked it. And then <laughs> how fast life just throws you a curve, right? Um, within a few weeks now, she's living away from me, two hours away, and she's got a brand new little career going for herself. And I went into my stash and grabbed some Lindy Stamp Gang. I think it's called Pink, Ladies Pink. And then I used the Heroes Art in the black, no, not Heroes Arts, uh, Heidi Swap Black Velvet Color Shine. And I'm going to add some dots. So by the time I upload this, I think I'm going to upload it tomorrow if I can finally get this voiceover done and uh, rendered. I'm going to upload it to YouTube tomorrow. And so tomorrow's Saturday. So I guess today's Saturday. So happy weekend. And here are some close-ups. I'm hoping you're enjoying these videos. If you are, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.